everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a gel painting of a black cat. So this is a realistic looking black cat that actually, if you think about it, a black cat is, there's really not that much detail to put in here. So if you're looking to make a realistic animal and you want to kind of start out easy where there isn't that much like fur texture and stuff, a black cat's a pretty good way to go because you can't even see their fur because it's just all black. I hope you guys love this as much as I do, and don't forget to check out Helen's little black cat as well, and I'll see you next time. Bye! So I'm going to begin with my background color, and I decided to go with a minty green. I just think that that light color will contrast really well against the black of the cat, plus green is what my black kitty cat's eyes are, so I figured a black a black back or a green background against the black would look really nice so i'm going to start by painting just the silhouette of her face and so i've got you know you can kind of slowly build upon it and definitely look at a reference photo if you have you know a good one available to you and just do it little section by section so i've got her forehead line coming down both ears bridge of the nose nose mouth and then a little bit fluffier fur on the chin once you're happy with your silhouette, you can fill in the rest of it with black, just like so, and then cure that. Make sure you do a solid cure at this point so that it is nice and uh, nice and opaque, or not nice and opaque, nice and solid. Sometimes I don't say the right words. But then with a medium gray, we're going to start bringing out all of those highlights. So that's kind of the great thing about painting a black cat, like I said, is you don't really have that much for texture it's not everywhere and there aren't all these different gradations of color you pretty much all you have to do is just kind of bring in some highlights with gray and take it from there and that phase you can even be you know pretty relaxed with it and just do a little bit of highlighting because it depends on the cat really how much sheen there is to their fur so sometimes you know you can leave it what i have right now and it would look fantastic or you can keep going like i did and build in a little bit more highlight if you would like to so after you did the first layer cure it and then i'm going to apply a second layer just to make some of my gray my gray highlights a little bit brighter so the gray i'm using is like a perfect medium gray type of a color and so you can really slowly bring in some of that brightness and then with a very pale pink i'm going to add a little bit of a pink hue inside the ear and on the nose um, if you guys have seen my black cat sneaking in behind some of my intros because she likes to do that basically what it is is she's hanging out with melody because melody is like her favorite person on earth those two are almost inseparable but if you've seen my little black cami sneaking in behind us you know she doesn't or you might have known she doesn't have a pink nose but a pink nose on a black cat is just one of those things that if you happen to ever see one that's like that it's the cutest thing because it doesn't look like their little nose should be there and yet there it is so after i've got all of those little pink bits in then i'm going to take some white and i'm going to be doing the base of her eye even though i said that her eye is that really bright green color if you just try to go straight into a bright green, it isn't going to look that bright. If you have that white base underneath it, it's going to be so much more intense. And then with that white, you're also going to want to add just a couple little fur lines here and there. And to make those fur lines have the teeniest amount of, of product on your brush and just really quick, short brush strokes, brush them in. And you can use that technique to make outlines, to make, you know, different areas really stand out from each other, especially on a black animal. You need to have little tiny hints of white to really intensify and make all of the shapes known. I'm also going to be adding the whiskers with white. Even though a black cat has black whiskers, typically they still reflect light and still look white. So now after I have that, I'm going to actually tuck in some of the sides and the shape of the eye because it got a little too big for me. So I've got going back to some black and I'm going to be just refining that shape slightly, thinning out some of the whisker lines if I want to. With this type of a design, you can go back and forth between black, white, and gray however many times you want until you're happy. And then with black, I'm going to be adding the thinnest little whisker lines that I possibly can, both for eyebrow whiskers and then for the cheeky whiskers and just a couple longer hairs here and there. I know that my, my black cat actually my gray cat i have two cats but my gray cat max she has the longest whiskers and so i always whenever i'm doing whiskers they always seem to get a little bit longer than i meant to just because i'm thinking about her and her whiskers that look like they stick out six feet on each side she's got the funniest little face but yeah so add all of those little lines for the different hairs that go outside the borders of the face bright green over the eye you can use a couple shades of green if you want to add some more depth to it i did a darker one just as some shading around the eye here and there a little bit you can see there's some little bit more a little bit of black shading on the eye and then add the little skinny line for the vertical pupil 
some white highlights and then apply a layer of matte gel top coat over the entire thing and like i said guys this one is quick it's really easy for a realistic animal so i hope you guys love it as much as i do i'm a black cat aficionado i've had two of them in my lifetime and they just hold a special place in my heart so please share your creations with me on facebook or instagram i'd love to see them and i'll see you next time bye